Welcome back, guys. My Vernon K here back again. And I hope you guys um, enjoy the little, the new format. Um, focus on one book. Focus on, keep one book instead of kind of, kind of get the gist of everything. Now, the next title, on the, uh, next time, this, this book, guys, I'm kind of iffy on. I'm still pretty much giving it an overbearing critique on it and what i mean by that i mean is guys is that um after five issues i'm gonna give my evaluation on it if i'm not really right now it's above average for me it's it's at that above average like it's it's passing my expectations but um after five issues i'm if i'm i'll be i could be done uh, so it, it will we're seeing where it goes but anyway um, we're here to talk about Green Lantern number three um, where my power the Green Lantern this is Grant Morrison's doing this I've never been I'm I'm a fan of Green, Grant Morrison but not the a hardcore fan I respect what he does for the industry and everything like that but I'm not the biggest Grant Morrison fan uh, in general, uh, so when he was said to come on the Green Lantern book, I was a little iffy. But you have Liam Liam Sharp doing the artwork, so basically you're under arrest. Uh, <laughs> you're under arrest, and why it's basically cop versus god. Uh, spoiler alert, guys! This this is not God. He's just some omnipresent type character that is. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, he's just some omnipresent character that looks like, a, you know. Uh, pretty much, this is basically still the lantern, still dealing with who stole, who sold the Earth, and everything like that. And a lot of the hero, the Justice League is missing, everything like that. And how and the rest of the lanterns come face to face with this guy who was the one who bought it and he's telling them you're under arrest for you know things like that this really rent what i love about it what i do like about grant morrison is that he's really giving more of a cop drama feel to what the green lantern truly is he's a space cop in general he's a cop he's a he's a cop he's kind of like a cop and here we kind of see that in this and um we, we go back and forth with this guy Hal and this guy right here you know says he knows about the green light but and he's speaking the old that old tongue like thou and cometh and the and I'm spitting on myself when I say it but yeah he's uh he's he's talking that way and Hal's just like look you can't do this blah 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 it's going back and forth who sold you the earth everything like that you're under arrest and the guy's kind of like paying him no mind really he's just doing his thing but He's like, yeah, ah, I've heard of the Green Lanterns, uh, Noble, blah, 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 but I'm, you're not arresting me, <laughs> things like that. Like, And it's back and forth between now. And little do they know, the rest of the Corps are trying to track down the man who sold it. And he does, they do find a man, and he's got a little bit of help by, um, um, it's, not the Saf it's not the Star Sapphires, but it's, it's, uh, it's by um who what is what is the what is the uh um let me see what are what are they called because I, I know they 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 got a name aha uh -huh. um. The Black Star, the Black Stars, uh, Dark Stars, Black. You know they're protecting the slaver. You know they're they're helping the slaver keep track of everything. And you know it's it's going back and forth. But this guy who looks like God paid over how many to this? It even tells you how much he paid for it. Um,
10,000 jillion star lords. I, I think that's, I guess, over a jillion dollars. I don't know. So, uh, but yeah, he paid for it. And I was just like, yo, you there. You're under arrest. You know, blah, blah, blah. And like I said, the guy's not paying him no mind. Like, okay. Yeah, he's just, he's actually, look, you could, I'll show you a picture of it right now. He's just, um,. Uh, where is it? <laughs> See? He just like fixed his collection. And Hal's just like, yo, talking to you. Um, but they do find out, they do find the slaver, the person that sold, you know, auctioned off the earth to this guy. And Hal's not, he's, Hal is pissed. He's mad. Um, when they find out, because his ship is like an old, like one of those ships you, you've seen like in Ben-Hur and they're rowing the ship and they look inside and they see these people and I'm going to show you like just what Hal sees. Look at that. That's what he sees. These dead, these people are literally dead. Like they're saying, please help us. Some are saying, please kill me. Things like that. And Hal flips out and he kind of pulls a, a little bit of um he oversteps his he oversteps a little bit like um he oversteps it like he's you know he's basically like yeah like you can't do anything to me you know for what is prime law justice in the universe and Hal just loses it. If I can get a good look at that shit. Okay. Hal just loses it right there. Nails him. And he's just like, and Hal just said, y'all saw that. It was, it was, he, he, it was self-defense. And I'm just like, Mr. Morrison, no, you didn't just go there with that. After all this bullshit that we see now, currently, with law enforcement, you're going to pull that. I was just like, yeah, okay. That one was, I'm like, all right. But anyway, um, not bad. Not bad at all. It, it, um, they could have left out that, that stuff with that one, but it was, it was pretty good. Well, like I said, guys, I'm still evaluating on if I'm gonna stay on Green Lantern. I love Green Lantern, but you know, um, this story arc is kind of, like I said, it's above average. Could be better, but I'm still gonna stay on. Like I said, I, I give, if I'm not, I'm iffy about some, I'll give that, I'll give the title five issues. If not, I'm done. Um, maybe, I'll give it maybe six, but usually five. And I can't believe I said five because I don't like odd numbers. But, cool, cool like that. but anyway, other than that, guys, you guys take care. Um, you guys tell me what you, if you read in Greenland, what are you thinking about the story so far? And other than that, this is my buddy kid saying peace, one love, stay tuned, keep it real, keep reading. As always, y'all.